Good morning class. Hey, so I have a tutorial today that I think that you're all going to like because this is something that you that a lot of you have been asking me about um, since kind of the beginning of school where you take an image uh, that's color and then you make it all black and white except for like just one thing, right? Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that in this image and then I'm going to give you an assignment where you can uh, choose to apply this to your one of your own images okay so all right we have a picture of a flower this is very simple because uh, we're gonna isolate this red flower make everything black and white except the red flower okay now the awesome thing about this uh, timing the timing of this lesson is that it involves a layer mask okay so today I'm gonna introduce you to adjustment layers so take look at take a look at your layers palette and at the very bottom we have a circle that's half gray and half white all right and I mouse over it, it says create new fill or adjustment layer okay these adjustment layers are amazing okay we're gonna start using them and the reason they're amazing is because they all come with a layer mask attached so nothing is permanent it's you can always mask your way back uh, out of out of something that you didn't intend to do you know or things like that so um, today we are going to focus on uh, hue saturation all right so let's go ahead and click on that hue saturation and two things should pop up okay we should have uh, let me let me zoom in on this let me take a take a zoom for you zoom in okay <clears throat> so notice in our layers palette we have this layer now uh, says hue and saturation this is an adjustment layer this is what it looks like okay this is the adjustment okay this is the mask all right and down here and the properties are the adjustments okay so um you know what I just did? I actually made a mistake. Donk on it. We are not going to use hue saturation. We are going to use black and white. Let me zoom back out. All right. So let's delete this layer. Um, go ahead and hit the trash can. And it'll say delete layer mask. Oh, yeah. But I want to delete the whole layer. Donk on it. There we go. Yes. Okay. So sorry. Let's go here again to our adjustment layer list and let's go to black and white this will be easier okay there we go now this is a way to do custom black and white <clears throat> which is really cool so um same thing applies if you look here let me zoom in now our adjustment layer says black and white one okay it comes with a mask handy dandy mask and our adjustment which is a black and white so here is the black and white adjustments. So this is really cool. Um, I didn't know if you knew that there was lots of color in black and white. Um, it's just a mix of our colors that, that will allow us to determine how our black and white looks actually. So why don't you play around them with that for a second. Okay, so see the reds. So that's, that's the only red in the picture. So I notice how, here let me zoom out. <coughs> It's the only red in the picture, so notice how this red flower looks, right? So just kind of, and then you can take it, you know, that's blown out. We don't want to do that, but anyway. Um, and then the yellows. Okay, there's some yellows in there. Look at those flowers. And that, that would make a cool gift, wouldn't it? The greens, of course. Most of this image is green. So you can make your black and white kind of dark. Or uh, So I want to put... I'm going to put it about like that. I don't want to make it too dark because then you can't really tell what the picture is. So maybe that. Let's see if there's much cyan. Yeah, there's a little bit. But you don't want to make the black and white look really too unnatural. But it's fun that you can come out. Look at that. Yeah, there's magenta in that flower, right? But we're not going to. Uh, anyway. Um, so I just want you to experiment with this for a second and get the background to look like it's like you want it to look so we're gonna bring this red flower back to life so I want you to um, just basically focus on your 
green the green uh, flowers in the background okay so I'm gonna put it maybe about like that all right so now here's where the magic happens right we're gonna use our layer mask to bring back the red okay so I'm gonna grab my brush and my hardness remember you can right click my hardness is going to be maybe, I'm going to try f around the 50-ish percent size. Because uh, I don't want a hard, hard edge on a flower. But um, anyway, so I'm going to grab my brush tool. I'm going to make sure my foreground color is black. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'm just going to start painting and making sure my flow. Check your brush settings. Sometimes they can get off. You want your brush settings to say normal here, 100% opacity, and 100% flow. All right, that's better. All right, so I'm just going to come in here and just, um, you know. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Undo. There we go. Oh, it deleted my mask. There we go. All right, so I'm going to make sure I'm on my mask. So I'm on the white square. And I'm just going to come in here and, um, I'm just going to come in here and paint back the red flower. And lift up on your mouse once in a while so you can, like I do a little, little stroke and then I lift up. <clears throat> so see, yeah, I think the hardness level is good. It could go maybe a little lower. I'm going to kind of fill in and then I'm going to go back to the edges. Anyway. Alright, so I'm going to hit X and then get rid of this green right here. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, and now back to the red. So yeah, this is how you do it. Pretty simple, right? Pretty simple now that you understand layer masks. Okay. Simple to do. Um, so... All right, now I'm not done with that, but then I would also come in here and um, get the stem, right? Let me show you, actually, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to show you an easier way to do that, okay? Now, come over here to your lasso. We haven't used a lasso in a while. Grab your polygon lasso. And <clears throat> the polygon lasso, I call it polygon, that's not how you say it. But anyway, um, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, there. The, what this lasso is good for is drawing straight lines. So this stem is fairly straight. So I'm going to come in here and do this. Just kind of, and then I'm going to, even though I'm, I'm kind of out of bounds, that's okay. And then I'm going to come back up and then do this. Okay, so now the stem is selected. Now, I'm going to grab my brush. And now I don't have to worry about going outside the lines. There, done. Bam. How about that? Right? And if you wanted to um, lower the... Oh, no, that doesn't work. Never mind. Um, okay, there we have it. Now, I, I could spend more time and get the flower perfect around the edges, but I want you to have... I don't want to bore you, but you get the idea, right? So that's how it's done. All right, now you're gonna um, you're gonna do your own assignment, okay? I'm gonna have you, um, yeah, I'm gonna have you do an assignment to turn in, as well. All right, but um, happy weekend coming up. Have a good day.